your girl Air Monique and I'm back today with another video. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel and join the family. But however, you guys are here today to see me make this seafood lasagna. I've never made this before. I actually just thought about it randomly the other day and I'm like, I know it's a, a such thing. I never had it before. So I decided I'm going to make my own. So what you'll need for today's video is your lasagna noodles, your seafood. I am using shrimp and crab meat. I was going to use crawfish tails, but didn't feel like I want to get them. I'm going to a different place to go get them. And also I'll be using cream cheese, sour cream, mozzarella, and parmesan, basil, and spinach as well. Yeah. Um, also, and I'll be using half and half butter, regular stuff like that. So, um, a little garlic, a little garlic. But, um, yeah, I think that's everything. Okay, so I have to re, um, situate my stuff. So, yes, I have my noodles. They're already boiled. I have my oven already set to 400, so that's already nice and hot. That's probably why I'm in here hot. I should have waited a little bit. Also, I also got, um, Alfredo sauce, Prego brand roasted garlic and parmesan so and I'm gonna tell you right now I have no idea what I'm doing so what I am going to do is I'm going to start off by taking a, a small saucepan and I'm going to throw my shrimp in there I'm going to season them and I'm going to throw them in the skillet with a little bit of butter because for some reason I just don't want to put them in the oven completely raw you know <laughs> pretty much going to take my obey seasoning Actually, look this up on YouTube. This is what the lady used. So, I'm gonna take my old bay seasoning and season my shrimp. I have so much stuff you can't even see. Okay, as my butter is melted, I am going to take my shrimp. And those in there really quick. Rinse that out. Okay, so I have my basil chopped up. I'm going to take my sour cream. I just got a small one. So I'm gonna take my sour cream and scoop that into well, my wrong bowl. Wrong bowl. What am I doing? sour cream and no I'm not measuring I'm just going with the flow and I'm gonna scoop that in there as well <coughs> wait sour creams what is this called I'm taking my shrimp off as well they're done Sour cream, cream cheese, basil, chopped fresh chopped basil. And I'm also going to take my Parmesan cheese. It all depends on your liking of like how much cheese you want it, how much saucy you want it to be. So that's why I'm not measuring because I know how I like mine. How I would like it because I've never made it before again. So, I like cheese. I'm going to take a good amount. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix this together. And I'm actually going to take my shrimp out of that. Piece it right back to the side. And I'm just going to stir this up. Creamy, it probably could be a little creamier. I did add a little bit of Alfredo sauce for the garlic flavor. I'm going to put a little bit more actually. I'm going to turn my stove back on because I am actually going to do my spinach leaves on the stove before I mix them in. So I'm going to mix a little bit of more of the Alfredo sauce in there. I'm just going to take a little olive oil. 
in there. I'm really nervous to have it. so much longer as I'm recording but um the spinach is done I'm just going to take that and put that off to the side into a bowl for later same as my filling and I'm now going to just take some butter and put that in the same skillet doesn't matter I'm gonna pop that in there just like that let that melt down and then after that melts down I'm going to take a little bit of flour this is one fourth cup of flour Also want to take some garlic, some minced garlic. Not too much, just a spoonful. Also, as that's melting down, I'm going to get my crab meat that I have. I got this from Kroger. It is the private selection brand. It's crab meat, just crab meat. It's not the lumps, but. I don't really mind lumps or it like this. Either way, it doesn't make a difference for me. But I'm just gonna stir this the garlic up. Don't wanna let the garlic burn. My wife wants to burn garlic. So I'm gonna put this off to the side with the shrimp. So now I'm gonna take my flour. I'm gonna add that in there. I really should be showing y'all how it's looking. Okay, so here is the the flour. I'm just gonna stir that up. My noodles, so I can see. Spinach, shrimp. And I'm gonna add just a tad bit more flour. Okay, I have my seasoning in there. I just added my cheese and I'm going to continue to stir this up. And yeah, you see the cheese is melting and we're almost ready to go in the oven. Okay, this is the pan that I'll be using. This is the size pan. As I said, it's just me here, so I'm not making a big I'm not making a lot. Ooh, almost hit the flow. But this is exactly what I need. I'm going to take my cheese sauce whatever Put that at the bottom of the pan, just like this. I'm gonna take my noodles. 
still on the pot. just in case something breaks, but I've been getting good at my noodles not breaking. And I'm going to take the spread and I'm just going to spread that on the top of my noodles as the first layer as you would do your ricotta cheese if you were using that. And next I'm going to take my meat crab meat and my shrimp that's already seasoned and put together and chopped up and ready to go. I'm just going to sprinkle that. Not sprinkle, but and then I'm going to take a little bit of spinach and kind of just Place that throughout. I don't want too much. Keep it light. As I said, I'm not a huge spinach, per spinach person. I am, but not really like cooked spinach. Like, I don't mind it in my smoothies. It's And I'm just gonna pour some of this on top. And I'm going to repeat that process. Okay, so this is what this is what it looks like after I topped it all with my cheese and added a few little parsley flakes just because and a little bit of uh, Italian seasoning. And I'm actually about to pop this in the oven. I'm gonna leave it in the oven for 30 minutes and then I'm going to take it out. Well, I'm not going to take it out, but I'm going to put it on broil for five minutes. So I'm just took it from out of the oven and it is now on the middle rack and I do have it on broil. I'm going to broil this for about four minutes to get it a little bit more brown and that is it. I'll take it out, let it cool off for 15 minutes and now get me ready to eat and try. Fingers crossed. Y'all, I burnt it. Well, it's because it's mozzarella cheese. I know that's really why I burned like this, but I literally, maybe you guys should leave it in there for just two minutes i did like four because i was in the room on my phone but that's besides the point but this is what it comes out to look like and um let's dig in and see what it tastes like yeah i thought i was recording i wasn't so um yeah here it is i did add some garlic bread to this um and yeah let's just dig right in and get to this If you didn't know it, that's my air. I was so hot. thumbs up this video tell a friend about my video if they're interested in cooking videos and um i'm new to these cooking videos you know um but i'm here for it so 
stay tuned for the next one make sure you thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram and i am erin monique thank y'all and i'm out